What's going on, CoinOpTV subscribers? Robert Welcome here. In this video, I'm going to break down the top 10 most anticipated video games of October 2015. We're going to start off the list with number 10 is Chibi Robo Zip Lash from Nintendo, October 9th for the Nintendo 3DS. It comes bundled with the Chibi Robo Amiibo. Now, Chibi Robo is a platform adventure game that puts the players in direct control of a tiny battery powered robot that does housework for humans. Now, I'm most excited about getting the Amiibo, the Chibi Robo Amiibo. Not quite sure yet if I'm going to pick up the bundle or wait and hope to see if maybe somebody trades that in. I'll be scouring GameStop's use selection. Uh, you know, if I don't find it, then I'll have to pony up and get the bundle. Next up, number nine is Rock Band 4 from Harmonix, October 6th for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Rock Band 4 follows the same formula as before, but this time around it's for current gen systems. Something new to the equation is the ability to freestyle guitar solos. 2005, 2006, 2007, you could not go anywhere without playing Rock Band somewhere. If you were to party, bar mitzvah, a wedding, anything like that, it seems like there was a rock band and a TV sitting there. Now, I'm not quite sure if the music rhythm games are ready to come back again for 2015. I guess this will be the big test this year. We'll see if we're ready to get the band back again. All right, speaking of music games, coming in at number eight is going to be Guitar Hero Live. Guitar Hero Live is from Freestyle Games and Activision, which comes out October 20th on the PlayStation 4. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and the Wii U. Guitar Hero Live is revamped from the ground up with new button configuration and a new style of play. Back again are the streaming notes on the highway, but this time around players use two rows of three buttons, one on top of the other. So I put Guitar Hero Live a little higher on the list because it's coming out for multiple platforms, it's got some innovation to it with the new button configuration, and it's kind of like two games in one. You get the individual play style where you can play as a fake rock band with the songs that come on the disc, or you can have Guitar Hero TV where you're streaming music videos into your house and uh, playing along with some of the classic music videos. So that's why Guitar Hero Live is number eight. And now on to number seven, Dragon Quest Heroes, The World of Trees Woe and the Blight Below from Square Enix, October 13th on the PlayStation 4. I had a chance to check out some of this Dragon Quest game while I was at E3 and it looked like a good balance of fantasy RPG and hack and slash RPG kind of going on. And plus the little blue slime dude just looks kind of cool overall. Number six is going to be WWE 2K16 from 2K Sports coming October 27th on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. If you are a wrestling fan, chances are you're going to want to dive into the latest WWE installment. Now we have some upgrades here. No dramatic loading screen entrances between matches, which means that you can attack a wrestler during his or her entrance, and reversals in the game have been given a tweak. Two things I'm hyped about with WWE 2K16, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake, and also Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator in this game. That is the hype machine right there. Our ranking in at number 5 is Transformers Devastation from Platinum Games coming out October 6th for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. You get to play as Optimus Prime, you get to play as Bumblebee, as Sideswipe, as Wheeljack, or Grimlock against the Decepticons. The animation style and treatment of the game looks like something lifted directly from the 1980s cartoons. So big Transformers fan right here and love the classic G1 Transformers. Peter Cullen is back as the voice of Optimus Prime, so that's a special treat. I guess kind of the only thing really missing here is the online play component. Would love to have seen that so I can battle some of my other G1 friends like the Asian Guy Gamer over the internet. So that would be kind of cool. We're getting down to the wire here. Ranking at number four is going to be Yoshi's Woolly World from Nintendo on the Nintendo Wii U coming October 16th. In Yoshi's Woolly World, you play as Yoshi in a fun stylized platformer with a similar vibe to Kirby's Epic Yarn that was back on the Nintendo Wii. 
So I haven't really played much of this game yet, but I'm most looking forward to checking out some of these Yoshi Yarn Amiibo. It's kind of cool when Nintendo does some innovation, getting rid of the plastic into the yarn. There's going to be three total. You can get green, blue, or pink. And there's also going to, going to be an epic larger Yoshi Yarn figure that stands up. It's for display only, though you can't play with it. All right, ranking in at number three is going to be Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 1, The Order of the Stone from Telltale Games, coming October 13th on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC, and then a couple days later on iOS and Android. Had a chance to play some of the Minecraft Story Mode game last week at a private demo. The game is coming along nicely. It was great to see some cinematics and some voice acting and some characters in the Minecraft universe. It's a self-contained story. It's just kind of like a what if. You check out some of these characters. It's not the story of Minecraft. It is just a singular story. And best of all, the entry level for getting into this is very inexpensive. You can just buy episode one, see how you like it, and then decide if you want to keep buying some of the other episodes. Ranking at number two, Assassin's Creed Syndicate from Ubisoft coming October 23rd for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the latest installment in the series on current gen systems and takes place in London in 1868 during the Industrial Revolution. It's centered around Jacob and Evie Fry, two new characters who are brother and sister twins. So it looks like Assassin's Creed Syndicate may bring the promise that Assassin's Creed Unity failed to match last year. We have some preview gameplay already up on my second channel, youtube.com slash coinoptv alpha. Make sure you check that out. Uh, the female character, Evie, looks like kind of the funnest thing about this game. I'd be curious to know what your feedback is or what kind of things you're looking forward to in checking out Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Finally, number one, the most hyped game of October 2015. You guessed it, it's Halo 5 Guardians from 343 Industries and Microsoft coming October 27th for the Xbox One. Halo 5 Guardians allows you to play as Master Chief and Spartan Locke. Warzone is the new multiplayer mode. Most of all, we're hoping that the servers can handle the excitement and we're hoping that the game ships complete, polished, ready to go out of the box. Please do not mess this up, Microsoft and 343 Studios. We're looking forward to some Halo as the number one hyped game of October 2015. So that's a quick look at my top 10 most anticipated games of October 2015. I would love to know which games you guys are most looking forward to this month. A lot of games coming out in October, a lot of games coming out in November. Save your money where you can, wait for some sales, Black Friday, holidays. But if you need to get a game, I need to know in the comments below which game that's going to be. For CoinOpTV, we'll see you guys next time.